Okay, so this is the Samsung Galaxy A10s, the super budget, super affordable phone from Samsung that's supposed to be competing at the entry level of the market. With only 2GB of RAM though and the MediaTek Helio P22 processor, is this phone actually worth your money? Can you actually get away with using this phone as your daily driver? In this video, we're gonna find out. Life was dull until you came. Okay, so straight into the specs, you've got 2GB of RAM, a 4000mAh battery, a 6.2 inch screen that's 720 by 1520 pixels, 32GB of internal storage and the phone runs on Android 9.0. When you pull out the SIM tray, you basically get an option to use two SIM cards plus an SD card that can be expandable up to 512GB. The octa-core CPU is clocked at 2GHz and you get a fingerprint sensor on the back of this phone. As for the cameras, you have a 13 megapixel shooter on the back with a secondary depth sensor and for the front of the camera, you have an 8 megapixel sensor that's sitting in the water drop notch section. Now, as you can probably already tell from looking at this phone, the phone is mostly a plastic body and that's understandable especially at this price point. It's a super affordable phone, in fact, I am surprised Samsung is willing to compete in this section. Well, maybe not surprised, just curious, but I think the most important thing to you is that this phone functions. Now, my buddy Valor Reviews already reviewed this phone and in his review, he called this phone the slow budget phone. And honestly, maybe he's not wrong, but the truth is, in my entire time using this phone, I did not experience any lag. But I think I understand why. This phone is not made for power users. So if you're somebody who needs to play PUBG on your phone and you have a bunch of games like Asphalt and stuff downloaded, you will slow down the phone a lot. As a matter of fact, being an heavy user who has a lot of stuff on your phone is going to affect a lot of other processes like using basic social media apps. If you'd like to see what happens to this phone when you have too much stuff on it, I'll leave a link in the description to this video so that you can go check it out. Now, speaking about the design, this phone is not winning any awards for design of the year. But it's not exactly terrible, I mean, it still looks plenty modern for that price point and I think for an affordable phone, it does fine. And speaking about the cameras, because I know this is very important to a lot of people, the 30 megapixel sensor on the back and the depth sensor are not bad. They actually produce decent photos, half decent photos. The place where the problem begins though is when you try to take selfies. They look absolutely horrendous. And worse still, in low light, these cameras are not usable. I, you could easily just say this is not a camera phone. And I think the 4000mAh battery actually performs fantastic if you're not somebody who uses your phone way too much. I mean, you can easily get through all day and half of the next day on this battery without having to recharge. And did I mention this phone actually still has an headphone jack, a phone that was released in August of 2019 as an headphone jack. Ultimately, as a budget phone, this is a very easy phone to recommend. The price is okay, the performance is decent as long as you're not pushing the phone too far, and the battery life is great. The cameras though are not so great. That was my review of the Samsung Galaxy A10s. If you'd like to see me review more budget phones, please leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what phones you'd like to have me check out. Thank you so much for watching, do not forget to subscribe and I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan.